Oh, I go on everybody. We are out of the water, done with the fishing in the Bahamas. It's time to taste the food. Don't play with pepper. other stuff but we still stick to our Jamaica food. Let's You just add in some time, Spanish time. Mm -hmm. Then I can mix up salt and pepper together. Then I can rub it in. Smell good already. The lime, the lemon. Cut out the rawness. Yeah, cut the rawness and then the time itself, that time just have an added fragrance. It just, wow. Smell a lot more potent than the time we used to. Fish pepper. Yeah, we love pepper. Me love pepper, you know, so I don't yes. mind the pepper. We like pepper fish. Added flavor. We don't play with pepper when you come on to fish. That's a habanero, that's not a scotch one. Again, rubbing the salt with this together. The salt and the pepper together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There goes the smell. Smell that pepper start to rise. And make sure to cut it up small enough so it gets in properly rubbing together. I can put on the gloves. Yeah, you don't want this getting in your hair. You could smell how strong this is. Smelling it. it smells very nice. Smells potent, the fragrance. And the seeds as well going in there. Right. Real pepper.
and you're cutting up real fine so you're making sure every corner gets a right dose. seed and everything every cut up small enough with the skin so that when you rub the salt together you just take the two of them stick together get a good flavor and i'm ready to cook burn right They like they look a black pepper. Yeah, man, so, black pepper and salt. You know, even though it have pepper, you still need a little black pepper. Pepper and pepper, 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 nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Need a salt. Now you want to have salt, but not too salt. Cause pepper and everything kick in. So you just bringing out flavors. Right. Mix it up. Yeah. And touch this with your, your beer honey eat up. <laughs> You're definitely going to feel that. Mm. Wow, look how, look how fine it's been diced. And the smell that pepper. Mmm. The habanero is not as flavorful as the scotch bonnet, but it's quite similar and quite similar on the heat index. So you're gonna get some heat, you're gonna get that if flavor as well. Fish tick, you have to make sure you you rub it in. Get it spicy. Wow. I'm sure all your pepper sauce wrap in. Flavor. Remember, I wash it in salt water too. Ah, so you have salt on it already. Right. And then when you make your carrot and your onion with your vinegar, you don't need none more. No pepper added to that. No. Because this have pepper, but the vinegar still have pepper, so you know that's enough. There's pepper, pump, pepper, pump, pepper. Just good. Can't be bad. Once you like pepper. I love pepper. <laughs> Try to make sure you get every... Oh Lord, my pepper sauce done. I gotta go make some more. I gotta make some more. I gotta make some more. That's a thick piece. I gotta make some more.
Okay, I made this done of it. Make this work for all. When I do this, I like to season it and then you put it down just a couple. Let it soak. Right, set in properly. Let it marinate. Some people like the bone bone part. When it crunchy, I love it. And crispy. So instead of meat, try to get inside of the meat so that it take all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. Okay, let me cut this. I always like to cut the meat when it takes so. Yeah, so that you get more seasoning within the meat. Mm-hmm. Don't mind it look like these ain't get no seasoning. They get seasoned because the salt it. already in the pepper, so you know. The fish head, everything goes right down into it. And when you marinate it after that, even more. All right, so we're gonna mix up everything. Make sure we all take the seasoning. So. With a fresh thyme, let this set for the Minutes while the deep fry get hot. So you make and this fresh this fish. The, yeah, this is fresh. This comes straight off of the boat. Right. This is fresh fish. That seasoning process, the time, just the care, the love that goes into it to put that Spanish thyme, the pepper, the salt the black pepper and rub it just carefully caress it between each layer of meat so make sure that seasoning soaks right in and marinates down to the bone so that you're getting flavors you're getting all of that pepper you're getting all of that taste just coming out of the fresh fish no need to add or over season with other seasonings such as all-purpose or maggi or anything like that this is just an easy simple and very nice way to season fish because you're looking for that fresh flavor you don't want to have to taste the powder seasoning and the thinly diced just chop up that pepper basically not a coarse chop just a dice almost bringing it to a mash added the salt added the pepper and then rub it carefully between caressing the fish rubbing it carefully between the bone the layers of meat and then sit it down to marinate. So you're just adding some water to the right. vinegar that's in there. So that it don't tone down the acid just a little bit. Turn this on. Carrot. Onion, allspice seed. It's a escovite sauce. Right. Is that popular here in the Bahamas? Well, amongst the Jamaicans. Ah, you're cooking for Jamaican. Right, amongst the Jamaicans. <laughs> Maybe get that one five minutes or five minutes the most because you don't want the onion to overcook up. Once you set it in the um, hot water, it's still going to be cooking the same way. So you don't want to be overcooked. Let's cover a little bit. No flour not adding to it because we um whoever eating the fish don't like um flour they prefer to fry dry. So is flour something that is usually added when people do it here in the Mahams? Yeah, when they fry fish they add flour to it. It kinda even though you um put the flour on it, it fry good, but it's just kinda a little bit too moist for me. I probably try dry. I don't like fish. 
I don't really like the flour fish business. You like, like it just the natural taste of yeah, it. Yeah, just season and fry just the way. Yeah, so it's fried fish, not fried chicken. Exactly. Exactly. That's my way of doing it. But you know, everybody likes fish a different way. So yeah, to each when you have fried. So we have to cater according to a person like their fish. The famous bami. Now, everybody do bami different. Some people soak their bami in milk. Some soak it in sugar and water. I'm going to try mine in sugar and water. It tastes real good, just the same. Sugar and water? Yes, just the same. I'm mm -hmm. interested to try that. I'm not sure if I've had a sugar and water combination. Just look, when I did Jamaica, my sister showed me that from that. That's, That's how all it's I done. did. So all I did is just not too much sugar now. I get a bowl. Too much sugar now, it's just been cool. Rinse it out. Make sure you're full of with enough water so it should cover over the bunny. And you have your sugar too. Don't knock it till you try it. Can't knock anything until no. you try it. Because I, I knock a lot of stuff and I never try it. And I don't eat any anything. Whichever sugar you have is fine. I have white sugar, I can use it. I mean, the matter of this trip for me is just because it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. I'm gonna just put a little bit of sugar, not too much. This bami itself, when it fry, it have a flavor still, even though it's not nothing with season or nothing like that. When it fry, you could still enjoy it. It was in the freezer. Just gonna let it sit in the water. Okay, rehydrating it. A couple minutes. Then I can take it out and I can cut it and I'm going to fry it in the deep fryer. This is coming to a boil. As soon as this boil up some more, I'm going to cut the stove off and let it set because I don't want to cook out too much. Okay, I'm going to cut this off right now. Once this boil like that is enough, I can cut this off because the water is hot. Once the water, you cut it off, that's enough heat to it. And we still get the honey and done properly with a little bit of crunch. You know, when eating on any one have a little crunch to yeah, it. Yeah, man. The escovitch sauce, the pot is open, you can smell the vinegar. Not really that heightened smell, but it smells fantastic. The onions have just been boiled to a crisp and that smell of pimento spice of Jamaica my heart let me think of home smell of home miss home do, I do, do I do what eat cornmeal dumpling I eat any type of dumpling flour dumpling cornmeal dumpling what's it named dumpling Chinese dumpling <laughs> Chinese dumpling <laughs> Chinese dumpling oh. clean But a Jamaican food we eating. <laughs> yeah. No matter where you go, the Jamaican in there, you're still gonna make you cook a Jamaican food. You will try we try other stuff, but we still stick to our Jamaican food. I wanna hear it. <laughs> we try other stuff, but we still stick to our Jamaican food. It's just the flavor and we cook and everything. Pour a little water each day and mix.
Mm -mm. I carry her back to Jamaica. There you have it, your dough is already mixed. Just waiting to do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You fry it in the deep fryer so it won't um, be too hard enough. already Right, I make it easy. People ask me when I cook in measurement. I can't work with measurement. I just cook. So we grow. Yeah, no I don't measurement. Do me yeah, people always ask me how much this, how much that. I can't tell because I don't work with a measurement. Pinch. Let's sell them yeah. a pinch. Let's sell my pinch. Can't tell if I tell you I like. Good enough. Whatever oil a person prefer to use, they could use. And this is avocado oil? Right. Oil or oil. Hmm? Oil or oil. You know, some people have preference with oil. Yeah. Me. Some people don't even like olive oil. I like olive oil. I like bami fry a little bit crispy. Yes. I don't know if I ever want. We like the crispy. the bummy frying because you see the color a little bit different thing you know look, it don't look as light as how it was before starting to dark up right no mm -hmm. problem when we the test any day you are cooking keep it any keep it 100 cooking. any day you're cooking tell me the 100 i'm going to give it a don't give me 50 one. give me 100 well i'll work with 100 <laughs> As you can see, I'm not letting it get burned. This is a non stick frying pot. This is a good pot. Fry is stuck in the thing up just a little bit. Hot in here, try. Hot in here. It's hot? Mm-hmm. I'm afraid of bun. <laughs> it's funny. It's the only bun I like. <laughs> Ooh. 
try it out by me now. Just come out to the fryer. Mmm. Yes, man. Wow. Alright. So I don't mind bombing them now. Sugar. I love it. This is really good. Hey, 100. 200. 200. 200. Mm -mm. Every bite is another 100. Because it's not hard, it's soft. Wow. It's soft in the middle, it's crunchy on the outside. It's not sweet. It's not sweet at all. You're getting that pure bami flavor, which is really more enhanced than a lot of the bami you get. I don't think I'm going to want it in milk anymore. Like, whoa. Mmm. This tastes like butter. Like some of them place are right on the seaside where you get that awesome bami. It's so it is. Like, it's really, really good. Mm -mm. I forgot to buy some more bami and come back, man. I fry more than that. Trust me, that was really good. You know when rain falls, this are the best kind of food, boil mm -hmm. food. Boil up some food. Mama tend to suck oil. So you have to always keep on putting in oil. And even though we see sucking oil when you're eating it, you don't it's taste the oil. It's not oily at all. Right. It's not oily. You don't taste it. Crunchy. So the pot is seasoned with just a little bit of garlic but that seasoning on the fish itself the thyme the pepper that will then season the pot as well and season that oil so it's seasoning all around the oil will be seasoned and then that seasoning will soak into the fish and you'll get a 
proper flavor from that oil and from the seasoning as well that's on the fish so it's just layers of seasoning that's been added to just enhance flavor and the smell already oh my god the smell of fried fish is in the way from yellow young man in Oh, this is just well hot, see? That's dark fry already. I'm sure you have enough oil so it could go down, see? I'm not sure it needs it. That's well enough for me. Go in the front of the back. If it looks so brown, I think it, it, it should be drying up. Oh, Taste the man. It's hot. Yeah. Look at that steam coming off of it. Oh, baby. Hot. Hmm. <laughs> yes, that is it. I'm getting pepper. I'm getting salt. You're getting a hint of that black pepper, but you're getting pure fish flavor. That freshness of the sea, that flakiness of that fish, that is a mackerel. It can be dry, it can be trashy, but it's just smooth. Just absolutely. Woo! Yeah, man. <laughs> Put some banana in the pot last night. Mm -hmm. Oh, the banana, yeah, oh, foreign banana, they ain't like Jamaican banana, so they, these ripe banana you buy when they green in the store, can't get the real banana like when they woman get the real banana. I'm getting to the bone. Mm. Wow. We are all one Caribbean people. We may do things different. Different is not wrong. Different makes us all unique. But we all share similar flavors, similar dishes, similar spices, and amazing energy vibrance and it's just an amazing experience to share with other caribbean cultures i'm looking forward to doing more of this stay tuned